Hey, what's going on there, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer That Codes. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can connect Bootstrap with Gatsby. There's actually two kinds of Bootstrap. There's the normal HTML Bootstrap, and then there's the ultra-powerful React Bootstrap. It's kind of a little hidden secret I found online about a year ago, and my world completely changed. For me, Bootstrap is amazing, and then React Bootstrap became amazing -er, if that's a word I'm not really quite sure. So I want to show you how you can connect Gatsby JS with this powerful tool known as React Bootstrap. And with that, let's get started. Hey there, so if you are brand new to Gatsby, there is actually a video I've put up previously that explains how to set up the Gatsby framework for the most part in order to use Gatsby. So I'm gonna take it from the top where I'm assuming you've already installed all the components. Once again, if you are brand new, you can run through tutorials. There is a whole section on setting up your design environment. I'm gonna run this new piece right here called Hello World, because I'm gonna use the bare bones version for this tutorial to run Gatsby. I'm gonna copy and paste this section right here, or you can type it out by hand. I'm gonna say Gatsby new hello world. And I'm gonna use the GitHub, the Gatsby starter hello world, if you wanna know what it is. It's literally on GitHub. It is the Gatsby JS Gatsby starter hello world. And how you can get to that as well if you are a GitHub person is I can always copy the URL but I'm gonna use the Gatsby JS Gatsby Starter Hello World. Why? Because there's pretty much nothing there. And so I can use uh, React Bootstrap in the best way possible. So with that, I'm gonna Gatsby New, create the folder name, Hello World, and paste in, oops, not Hello World. Helps to click the copy button. There we go. I'm gonna bring that into my project. And just like magic, somewhere in here, did I do it right? Uh-oh, where'd I go? Oh no, I didn't, ah, let's stop this. This is not gonna work. Oh man, it helps if you know where your files are. Dropbox, I thought I had it nailed and apparently I didn't. There we go, Gatsby demo project. See, everything can go live and fun. Let's go one more time to Gatsby Hello World. There we go. That's better. There's Hello World. And we'll open this up while it installs. So the reason why I'm using Hello World again is because I just want a blank slate. Whenever I design for the web, the less things that can get in the way, the better when I'm designing. And if I have to go back and take out more CSS or take out something, to me, that just means more work. I like the fresh new copy of Hello World because it truly is a blank slate. It's the emptiness of the site. This is also why I use pieces like Visual Studio Code. You can also know I'm taking up some airspace while this finishes installing. I thought I would go faster. But the great part about Visual Studio Code or any kind of editor is it just looks like this. It's empty, which is a great part about it. All right, back to Hello World. CD, Hello World, Gatsby, develop. This will kick it into development mode. This should go pretty fast because there's not a lot to actually run. It's pretty straightforward. Maybe. <laughs> I always say it's gonna go quick and then the time I say it's gonna go quick, it takes a little bit longer. There we go. Let's command click on localhost 8000. And that looks amazing. Times New Roman, hello world, top left, default borders were good. So we have this design, which looks utterly amazing. But what I wanna do is I wanna bring in, where'd it go? The React Bootstrap and actually utilize something for the very first time to actually make it work. So I'm gonna click on get started. And what I have to do is I have to install two components, the React Bootstrap and Bootstrap. I'm a Yarn guy, so I'm gonna switch from NPM install to Yarn add, but you can use either one. 
As it says before installation, the best way to consume React Bootstrap is via the node package module package, npm package, which you can install with npm or yarn. And I use yarn. That's just how I roll. So if I stop my server with control C on the Macintosh, I'm going to then copy this part right here. And I'm going to come over here and say yarn add and those two, React Bootstrap and Bootstrap. And with that, it's going to install the packages. And we're going to follow down this little rabbit hole until we get Bootstrap to work. I did stop the server, but once again, what you see before is Times New Roman, Hello World, and of course, the famous exclamation point. What we're going to do is we're going to just add a container to show that it does work successfully to show that it's installed properly. What's great about React Bootstrap is you don't have to worry about all different elements of grabbing different CSS files. It's just one, two, three, go. And it's almost done, but it's got a few things left to do. And we are all set. It grabbed the dependencies for a couple extra pieces. So now we actually can utilize React with Bootstrap. I'm going to go back to my development server stage. I'm going to say Gatsby develop and run this. And again, I haven't actually done anything yet. I've just installed the node modules that are going to run in the background. Now I have to do the step two. Installation looked like it was successful. Going pretty good. Development bundle. Fingers crossed it's working. Localhost, I want to refresh here. Refresh. Hello world, still there. Same times New Roman, and we're all good. So our next step is we have to include the import. Now I'm gonna put the import on the only page I have. I would put this on the layout or a header page, depending on what you're working on. If you have a more advanced setup than my hello world, and most people would. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the source and in here, I'm gonna go to pages and there's only one page. I have nothing else but the hello world page. And I'm going to come into Visual Studio Code or VS Code. There is our Hello World. I'm going to drop this down just so I have a little bit more to work with. Let's do that and bring it back. If you want to use Visual Studio Code to move things left and right, it's Command right bracket, Command left bracket. So what I have to do is I have to copy and paste this import bootstrap up to the very top because this is going to kick it into gear and if I save it it doesn't do anything because we actually haven't applied any styles yet to this so if I go down below and I go back to bootstrap I can use this link as well if I wanted to but honestly this import just takes care of things all right now for the fun I actually have to import elements of bootstrap if you used Bootstrap in the past, and if I look at Bootstrap over here, where if I look at documentation on the older version, so if I go to layout, it shows you all these class names for containers. Notice it's got the period for a class. So in normal times, what you would do is you would, where is my Visual Studio code? Is I would say div class, equals container and this is my container well this is not the correct way of doing it anymore because we are in Gatsby JS we have to use bootstrap for react which at first looks complicated but in the second part it's actually much easier and let me show this to you if I go to react bootstrap notice how it says import button from react bootstrap button or less ideally import button from react bootstrap i use the less ideally part because it can actually combine multiple elements of bootstrap let me show this i'm going to copy this less ideally i know it says it but i'm still going to make it work i'm going to copy it and in the very top line i'll put line four i'm going to say import button now it does gray it out because I'm not actually using button is declared, but its value is never read. I'm going to change button 
as we said, container. Container is the biggest piece when it comes to setting up a design in React Bootstrap. And check this out. I can go right to components and we should be able to find, oops, my container. It's usually under layout. Or if it's not, I'll just type container anyways. There it is, container, dun, 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 dun. Notice now how the container is just a word. So if we use container, what I'm gonna do is, up here, I'm gonna take button out. I'm gonna say container. Instead of saying, I'll just put it above for right now, all I have to do is write container and container and say this is a container. Notice how the divs are now replaced with the word container. Instead of saying div class container, I can just say container. If I take this out and I save it, let's do it this way. There it is. Oh, I already did save it. So hello world is now put in there and notice how, there it is, this is a container. And if you notice now, this is a container, now moves with however big or small I make my site. The container has breakpoints. And what it does is it says, okay, extra large is 1200 pixels, large is 992, medium 768, small 576, and containers are 100%, 540, 720, 960, and 1140. They allow you to move your design back and forth. So instead of having to say container SM, MD, LG, XL, the React side of things just say container fluid or container fluid equals MD. So you can change your container designs based upon specific words, but you always use the word container. In future episodes and different videos, I'll go into different components of React Bootstrap. But for this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can actually simply install it by using one, I used Yarn, you can use NPM. Then you have to do is import the Bootstrap, import the container, and you're off to the races. And the best part about it is, if I don't have it done properly, or if I say, you know what, I want to use a row, and I try to use it, it's going to yell at me and go, whoa, row is not defined. So if I take out the row, I bring it back, it'll say something successful. This to me is great because now it tells me the word and the word close versus div, 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 div. To me, React Bootstrap in design and using Gatsby JS to me is the game changer that really put me on the top and said, I love Gatsby JS even more now that I use React Bootstrap with it. If you've used React Bootstrap, I'd love to hear your feedback if you've done successfully. If this is your first time using React Bootstrap, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear some comments. As always, we're welcome to subscribe to this channel and look forward to talking with everyone soon. Hey, on behalf of A Designer That Codes, I'm Hayden Adams and thank you for watching.